Scott the English said earlier this week that the pressure's all on the All Blacks um, to protect this Eden Park record. Is that a fair comment, do you think? Well, there's always pressure. Um, it depends how you use it. Scott, obviously, just the one change. How yeah. straightforward was it to pick this team? Yeah, very straightforward. Um, a lot of some great performances and areas we can get better. Uh, the, the players have been really good this week. Once we've you know got a bit of cohesion in place and straight into our work, uh, name the game, um, name the team Tuesday, and been a couple of good couple of good days. What what needs to change this week and, and um, on Saturday against this English? Defense? We're going to finish um, opportunities a little bit better that we've created. Uh, a little bit of execution, a bit of game plan execution. Uh, thinking on our feet, but also you know, going through with our game plan and uh, making sure the drive is right, make the right call at the right time. So not far away, it was, it's been a good, good review. Are you sensing <clears throat> more cohesion amongst this group now that you've had a little bit longer in camp together? Yeah, oh, look, everyone knows where the, the classroom is now. Um, it's like first week at school, isn't it? Yeah, you, you take a while to get your bearings, and we've got that, and how it's, you know, how the teacher runs it all, and, and the structure of the week, and, you know, straight into it. Good rhythm. How have you assessed Cortez this week, and I suppose what's your message to him ahead of a possible debut off the bench? Uh, just trust yourself, be yourself. Uh, he's a good kid, you know, he's um, extremely competitive. <laughs> he um, likes to win everything. Uh, once he sort of realised, you know, once he'd, be, he'd been named, just got on with it, and you know, he's got a pretty good couple of mentors in, in front of him that he can learn off, and now's his opportunity. Is that excitement about being at Eden Park? It's obviously a pretty formidable record that this team has for your, your first test at yeah. Eden Park. Yeah, I think with Eden Park, you know, with a period of time, with their successes, um, I mentioned earlier around the, the effort, everything is earned there, and you know, we respect what's been before and now it's our opportunity. What yeah. is it about the, the ground? I mean, you've had, you had success here playing and coaching, but what is yeah. it about that ground? It's home. <laughs> There's a bit of nat natural feel of, of it. Um, you People come and players come with a bit of expectation around it and there's some good memories. Scott, you've got a guy on your bench with 124 cats, Bowden Barrett. Yeah. You saw the impact he can make in Dunedin. Were mm. you tempted at all to look at bring him in as a starter, or do you like do you like him off the bench? A little bit of both, really. Uh, I thought Stephen was exceptional. Uh, took his opportunity and just gives us that balance of 10 and 15 when we need to bring on Bowden and, and the experience. And he understands the game so well, and a couple of early touches you know, gave us the field position that we needed at that time, so uh, we'll keep the balance as it is. Yeah. Do you still see him as a potential starter down the line? Well, there's 14 tents, tests, you know. Uh, of course we do, all that experience, um, but just the, it's the right mix for this test. Have you yeah. got a firm picture now on TJ and how long he's out for? I know he's seen a specialist. Uh, yep, uh, he's had a few scans and you sort of you don't treat the skin, you treat the man because he's a special he's a special man to Jay. He, he sort of starts diagnosing himself. I'll be back next week, and we're all oh, oh. so he he, uh, he won't be too far away. Yeah, San Diego or probably not that far. Well, not that soon. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Grayson, you had a, a close relationship, you know, long yeah. with Richie Malonga, Crusaders, as your number ten. How are you going about building that relationship with Damien? The other teams you work with as a yeah, I'm new uh, DMAC when he was at school down in, in Christchurch, so no, I'm on a personal front uh, and hit him with the 20s as well when I was involved. So, you no, know, understood he's an incredible pro, um, you know, works tirelessly on his craft and wants to own his position in the team and how he drives it, so uh, he's been great. How important is that coach first relationship? Uh, yeah, it's very important. Obviously, uh, you know, there's so much in his hands, um, and he's got a he's got a good temperament. You know, he's he's played a few games himself. He's been around for a long period of time. He's had injuries. He's had you know he's had to be resilient. Uh, he's back, bounced back. You know what he's like on the field. He he, he, he can take knocks and 
uh, come up with big plays. So now, now we've got an understanding of what we're, we're doing. He can own it himself a lot more, and he has this week. Scott, the, um, the scrum was dominant last week, but in yeah. the other respects, the, the breakdown, uh, just the line-outs, you probably want to use them more and more. Have you put quite an onus on the, on the full-backs to, to get going forward? Yeah, Josh Ryan, uh, he's worked hard making sure we've got good, clear pitches, what, what the rest need to see from us. Uh, you can always be better in that area. Um, you know, we want to... You, you know, create dominance, but with, with good pitches and, 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 and clear for, for you know Nick Berry this week. Do you expect the game to be refereed at all differently with Nick Berry being? Uh, yeah, Nick. That's it's a good question because it's the interpretation of the rules. You know that that's our game. That's how beautiful we have our game in it. She's um. Uh, yeah, we know Nick and what what he what is what he likes to see. Uh, so we'll give them those pictures as much as we possibly can, and like we're really clear what world rugby we want to see around the um, the protocols and, and foul play and you know breakdown and, and scrum pitches. So we've done our homework this week to make sure they, they see it. And, and, shot, and shot clocks as well. And shot clocks. Good on you, Mark Robinson. <laughs> hey, working hard. Scott, yeah. um, we were well aware of the fact that you spent and the team spent a lot of time looking at your initial squad. By comparison, was selecting this team a fairly short affair? Yes, it was. <laughs> yeah. Roughly how long? Oh, <coughs> weeks, really. Well, it took as long to, with the other one, you know, the, yeah. the first initial squad. But this, this team, you know, there was just once we had a good look at the game, reflected and what was required to win this test matches, you know, we pretty much status quo other than injury. So. Yeah. Really yeah. You're good at those questions, aren't you, mate? <laughs> Loading me up again, I love it. Um, oh, look, I, I, I think, you, you, you know, they boys do their homework like you do anything. It's a, it's a special contest. It's a unique contest in our game. The scrum, you know, everyone, as soon as there's a, you know, an arm that goes out, everyone's like, what's going to happen next? And there's a group of eight guys that get really excited and about that opportunity. And like I was saying, it can create dominance if, if you do it well, if, you, if, you, if you're all connected uh, and show the picture that, that's required for that scrum. So, you know, Jace has been around a while now, Jace Ryan, and he's put a bit of expectation on our guys to get that right. Sorry, Scott, the younger said earlier this week that the pressure's all on the All Blacks um, to protect the Eden Park record. Is that a fair comment, do you think? Well, there's always pressure. Um, it depends how you use it.